today so wow you caught on uh, just right at the start of the stream here awesome so uh, what we're going to be doing today is making dragons much like um, midnight here mm, she's uh, one that I just just kind of uh, finished I had to do some touch-ups on her kind of a long story behind that I could paint particularly wanted but uh, yeah she's a uh, black dragon here and we're actually going to be making another black dragon a friend of mine uh, ordered a specific one a black dragon with uh, Let's see, two pink and two purple scales kind of alternating uh, one after the other. So our first task is going to be to collect a whole pile of scales. Okay, and uh, actually uh, just kind of a random fun fact. Uh, the dragons that I'm making nowadays are made slightly different than the ones in the past. In the past, uh, the bellies of the dragons always used to have a uh, Persian dragon scale uh, belly to them. And uh, now we're using interwoven four in one just because it's it makes the dragon a whole lot smoother, I've found. So with that in mind, because it all actually stretches the dragon out even more, we're going to be moving from 18 to 16 uh, ring or scales in length. So uh, that's kind of a minor derivation from the past. Although I kind of like that change because you know 16 kind of divides up a whole lot easier if you want to make certain stripes. So you can do like four, 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 etc., things like that. And twos and okay, three doesn't go really there so much, but if you got more than 18. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see, 16. So we need eight of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's see, they wanted two pink, two purple. So the two shoulder scales here, those are actually going to end up being pink. <laughs> Rattle, 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 that's funny song staff. I should probably just go about closing Facebook now that you mention it. Because that uh, type of notification sound is probably going to get annoying pretty quickly there. <laughs> so, bloop, there we go. That should take care of that. And now, back to dragons. Hey guys, Chris here again. And oh, we're going to do an goodness. updated video on how to... Uh, I opened up a tab with YouTube and bams, wouldn't you know it, it decides to start auto-playing because it likes to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness, this ring's uh, just about stuck on my fingers here. A uh, ring tool that I made a while ago. It's got uh, slots inside of it so that I can kind of, you know, grab with a pair of pliers. Where's a pair of pliers here? Whoop. I'll just kind of show you a quick demonstration because funsies. You take a ring and then you take the uh, ring tool here. You put the ring inside of the slot there. You can twist the ring open and close like that. And it works out really nicely so you can wear it on your index finger like this. It also works as a pinky ring. Anywho, okay, so we've got a pile of pink scales and a pile of pink and purple is going to look amazing, especially with black rings. Oh, this dragon is going to look so awesome. So we need a pile of quarter inch rings. We need a pile of quarter inch rings. What we need are quarter inch rings. Oh, look right there, it's quarter inch rings. <laughs> I guess if you're watching this on uh, YouTube right now, feel free to give me a like and a follow because uh, 
or like and a subscribe because that's always awesome. And then you get to see more chain mailing and singing and such, and that's always awesome. <laughs> by the way. Welcome to the channel. And uh, noise from the dragons. Well, the dragons can be a little bit noisy. They're more rattly than anything. Mm -hmm. They're like little rattlesnakes. Except that they're not venomous, don't worry. They're quite safe. They're also awesome pets. They travel on your arm. They chat with you. Ooh. Although, just uh, while I'm thinking about it, here's another dragon that I made recently, a silver dragon. This is uh, Charlotte, the dragon of color. She has all of the colors of the rainbow and, well, more colors than it is in a rainbow inside of her. All of the colors of scales that I've used in the past, including a brand new rust scale, where I took a mild steel scale and deliberately rusted it to give it kind of a rusty look. Oh, and she's gonna, that scale right there is kind of uh, the prelude to another dragon that I'm gonna be making in the future, a rust dragon, where all of the rings and all of the scales are made from mild steel, then I'm going to attach her to a, uh, like a wooden board or something like that and just have her sit outside for like a full season of just rain and sun and everything and just let it get naturally rusty. And then ideally, the uh, rust will kind of run down on the wood a little bit and kind of give it this, you know, eerie kind of rusty look to it. And oh, she's going to look awesome when she's done. <laughs> Oh, there is so many colors of scales that you can uh, get from, uh, I get my scales from the Ring Lord. It's a chain mail supply place and they're awesome. But uh, there's other chain mail supply places too. I should really look into seeing what colors they have. There's actually very few options for like a pure white scale. Which really kind of sucks because I'd love to make like, you know, the trans flag or just other like a black, white, black, white, black, white type of dragon. A big black and silver before and that's really awesome. Then I've had a few like rainbow dragons. That doesn't have white in it so much though, but yeah, you get the idea. There's a little bit of lacking inside of there, but oh, you can get like bright pink. Um, uh, there's a uh, bright kind of uh, lime green or light green. Uh, there's light blue, titanium, stainless. Uh, high carbon tempered stainless steel, or high carbon tempered steel. Yeah, it's probably stainless. Yeah, it's kind of got this really dark kind of finish to it. I really like that one. One of my very first dragon, actually, I think my very first dragon was made entirely out of that type of scale. I've made like 45 dragons at this point. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, you can see a couple of them on the uh, image on the side there. Give me two seconds to kind of click it around here. Yeah, up there. Uh, you can see some of the dragons there. Oh, that's a Mobius uh, knot there. I could uh, prattle on about that if you really wanted. Uh, look, sir. Hey, you. Welcome to the channel. Um, uh, throat singing. Uh, there's actually a whole lot of different types of throat singing. Uh, one of the more famous ones that I know of is uh, there's Tanya Tagak, who uh, I think she is Inuit or something like that, and she does her style of throat singing. Uh, some of the, like, uh, basically what kind of, I guess not really got me into it, but my favorite throat singing of all time is Tibetan throat singing. 
look up Lama Tashi, L-A-M-A space T-A-S-H-I. Like, oh, it's just very, very deep, like, Tibetan throat singing. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I can actually uh, tell you a bit, or not tell you, I can uh, say a bit of a chant in Tibetan that I've just kind of memorized from his chants. It's a chant of good karma. I have no clue what the words are, and I very well may be butchering it, but let's give it a shot here. Chant of good karma. Om dom sua. Om dom indeya. I am dea. So I ha. Om dom sua. Om dom indeya. I am dea. So I ha. Oh, I love that chant. I have a uh, singing bowl as well, and I like to you know, kind of chant while uh, singing the singing bowl. Okay, so for the dragon here, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, it's going to be a uh, pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple striped. So what we're going to try here is if we take... I'm going to have to do this a little bit kind of backwards. Ease. But uh, two pink, two purple, two pink, two purple, and in uh, sets of two like that, because that just makes really uh, nice-sized nice stripes for a dragon. I don't have any, like, striped dragons beside me specifically. I have, like, about 15 of them hiding in the corner over there. If you really want, I can get up and kind of get the whole pack of them here, but you know, otherwise they can just kind of chill there for the time being. But let's just kind of lay this out just a little bit. <laughs> Well, something's not right. I should have two more pink than purple at this point, and it's not really working out. But I only grab like eight pink, because I need ten pink. I may have to open up my scale bag and pull out a minor two scales. Oh goodness, okay, so that kind of misaligned a little bit. But you get the gist of it here. It's kind of a two, 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 two type of uh, striping. And I just really like that pattern. I've done three, 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 like three, then three, then three type of striping before. And, well, one, 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 I... Have I even done a dragon like that? Or just kind of like the scattering of all the colors like this in one, 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 one. Maybe like that. In either case, I don't think it makes... Ah! Something happened! Sorry, I don't have my screen. Oh, thank you for following, Flixer! You're awesome! I love you! Koro, life be with you! Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess I could explain that a little bit. I'm a bit of a spiritual girl, and I uh, came up with my own blessing. At Kuro, uh, K-U-R-O, it means life be with you. Basically, I'm just kind of wishing you a better, extra, more life in whatever way that means to you. Just wishing you better. <laughs> oh, let's sing something that you might recognize. safely say I've never actually heard of them song staff. Uh, what type of music do they play, assuming they do music? I'm guessing by the groove inside of there. Could do dancing, I suppose. Oh, 
I've actually kind of written two songs of my own of sorts. Uh, the one that I've kind of been uh, doing for the like since the start there for the most part, aside from the video game themes there, is called The Pickup Train. It's kind of a little bit more of an upbeat one. And then I've got one song that's called Oh Sissy, and that's a bit more of a uh, slower one. Here, let me uh, kind of sing you that one uh, for the time being here. It's a really short one. <clears throat> Let's see, how did that go again? Now that I'm on the spot. Oh goodness, what am I doing with the dragon? Ah! I attached four pink scales together instead of two. Oh goodness, goodness. Undo! Control Z! Control Z! I was supposed to be singing a song for you. Acapella video game music. Now that's awesome. Okay, thank you. I'm going to have to... Uh... Metroid. Oh, I love Metroid. Oh, then you're going to love this next song. Okay, you oh, can wait for a minute. we got to do a Metroid song here because ah, that's Metroid. Also, I can't think of the uh, specific song to pull in the other one. Uh, but uh, I actually don't allow links inside of the uh, chat right now. It's, uh, it's caused problems in the past, so I just kind of have links blocked. Sorry. But, uh, sorry, a Metroid music. modify the end of it though so it actually kind of had an end to it instead of just kind of you know looping back onto itself. Yeah sorry I do have links blocked. I should try and unblock that for next stream or something like that. Maybe I can do that right now actually. Give me two seconds. Let me see if I can unblock uh, links here. <laughs> Alright, the song goes sissy. Let me kind of uh, give you that one while I'm thinking about it here. Or right, that it came to mind. <laughs> Be posted in chat. Yay! Oh goodness, you may get some interference uh, sound here. As I'm kind of clicking around, go back to my dashboard quick before the stream starts, and then we get kind of double audio thing happening. Now I have to hit control and go like this. Oh goodness, I had to do a whole lot of things to try and make this happen here. <laughs> Apologies. Computer is deciding to be slow right now. So I'm all leaning forward, looking all silly here. I needed to, uh... The fit link again? Oh, come on! I just changed the settings. Well, 
Boo. Okay, you can maybe try and whisper me the uh, link. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because I'm actively streaming that the uh, change didn't go through. I'm not entirely certain. But I did literally just, uh, while I was singing that, change it so that uh, links should be able to be posted. So, boo! That kind of sucks. Yeah, well. Yeah, maybe try a little bit later, or, uh... Yeah, maybe it'll kick in after, ne or when I begin next stream, or something like that. Oh, well. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so those are uh, the uh, two songs that I've uh, written for the most part. Uh, there's another song that I uh, had in my head at one point or another, but I didn't think to record it because I was at a time and place in my life where I wasn't, like, you know, recording my music actively or anything. Still not really, but the other two I've at least repeated enough. Uh, the other one is called And Slap Them in the Cheek. And see, I kind of vaguely know how it goes just because I know how the very end of it goes and then I can kind of prattle off from that. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, Hi Ho the Mario, uh, the farmer in the dell or something there. I'm going to sing that one a little bit more often. It's nice and bouncy. The uh, end of lyrics that are kind of playing in my head while I'm singing it are uh, and smack them in the cheek because, you know, someone's getting fresh with you or something like that. Uh, the lyrics in my songs tend to change the inside of my head, at least anyway. Like, just about every single time I sing them. And, uh, yeah, I really should try to, like, write down the lyrics. It's really hard, though, because while I'm singing it, it's, like, hard to sing and concentrate enough to write down the lyrics that are in my head. And yeah, when I'm, you know, throat singing, all you're hearing is the humming and you're not getting the actual words. So kind of a catch-22 dilemma of some sort or another there. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'm getting that one. I'm, that one, that song is starting to come back again, so that's good. And smack them on the cheek. Mm. All right, the pickup train. That one's a mostly finished song, or at least a few of the kind of uh, verses of it. Like, I have a feeling that that song can uh, still definitely get a lot longer. But, uh, let's see. Uh, so the song in more full, anyway, is, uh, my songs tend to be fairly short right now, is uh, this. I just uh, remember that I need to uh, type to someone specific here. I apologize. Give me two moments. I'm just going to deviate from the chain mailing for just a few minutes. Sorry, I meant to, totally meant to do this uh, right before streaming, but uh, you know, so many things on my mind at the moment. I've been trying to set up everything properly, and oh, okay, come on, come on. <laughs> Waiting for a screen to load. Waiting for an hour glass to go. Something like that. 
something, something, something. Come on, Facebook, open up. You're going really slow. Oh, song staff, I just saw your uh, message on Facebook. Awesome. That makes to see you here. Okay, let's uh, go about typing this here. Goodness, come on. Oh goodness. Okay, there we go, that got that, and now we can close you, hook, and now we can go back to you, hook, and now we can open this up as well, hook, there we go. Oh, the stream is crashing, boo, must be the internet connection or something like that. Well, hopefully it uh, comes back up again, oh goodness, the links still aren't working either. Well, shoot. Okay, well, like I said, uh, hopefully it'll uh, work tomorrow or something. I can't imagine why it uh, wouldn't have started working instantly, but it's going to do what it's going to do, or Twitch is going to twitch. singing there is kind of a uh, modification to the pickup train. could be seen as another verse or, I don't know, sometimes my songs just seem to go to a different rhythm, but it's the same, you know, notes and so forth. Oh, I've really got to, like, take a music course or feeling that, like, have someone who knows music listen to this so I can actually, like, convert this into musical paper. Oh, goodness, all right, uh, see you later, song staff. Have a wonderful dinner and I uh, hope it's very delicious. Oh, laters. Oh goodness! Something happened. I have got to rearrange my screen so I can see everything. Oh, you became a follower again, song. Oh no, wait, song staff. That was someone else. Thank you, song staff. You're awesome. I love you. Thank you for following. In the meantime, I'm just going to quickly attempt to go like this, so that I'm actually capable. 
of seeing when those notifications come up and what they are. Ooh, using the old noggin today. <laughs> I only have one monitor and that's the, well, the one that the webcam is on. Oh, I need a new computer, like, quality of the picture. Ooh. I'll get a better computer at some point down the road. <laughs> Like this camera, this is actually a pretty good quality camera down here, the uh, one focusing on the chain mail. But that's the only one that I have that's directional, so I can't like, uh, like I could get it to face me, but then I'd have nothing to face the chain mail. So kind of uh, yet another catch-22 type of situation happening there. Okay, how long is this dragon that we have? Ooh, the two purple, two pink striping is looking amazing, I have got to say. See, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Goodness, I do need to grab another two pink scales after this for the shoulders. Okay, well, I'll do that after I'm done attaching all of the back scales here. singing is you can uh, sort of drink water at the same time as singing. I like to throw people off on the bus every so often. You know, instead of this big giant like silver... Ah, oh, delicious water. On um, my uh, jug thing there on the bus I have, you know, one of those bike bottle squirt type of things. So, you know, as I'm singing and usually my mouth is closed because, you know, it doesn't have to be for throat singing. <laughs> Got a fun little bar trick there. <laughs> So yeah, I'll be uh, all singing and stuff there, and then I start drinking water, because, you know, it sounds a lot like humming. So they're like, how are you humming and drinking at the same time? <laughs> yeah, you can kind of get that feel off of people, so to speak. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I love singing on the bus. It's a nice captive audience. And you can kind of catch the whole bus listening to you if it's, you know, at a stop or something that's quiet and there's not a lot of traffic or whatever around. And uh, that's always fun. That's what I tend to like to uh, belt out the uh, Metroid Norfair theme there, because that's a real powerful one. Let's do a different, um, oh, let's do a few different, uh, what should we call it, video game songs here. Let's get uh, one more from Metroid here. <laughs> It uh, just repeats after that because, you know, video game themes, they do that. 
Oh, here's another really good one that's uh, got a really nice kind of beat to it. Let's see if you recognize this one. Not from Metroid. <laughs> Theme if you didn't catch that. Oh, I love that one too. Huh. Now let's sing a random Britney Spears song. Random fun fact uh, from streaming in the past, I've uh, discovered that, uh, like, you know, uh, when you have a uh, pop song or, uh, you know, a mainstream uh, music of some sort playing, uh, YouTube tends to block it or at least, you know, it puts up ads or whatever, thinking it's like, oh, hey, this is complicated music and stuff. My throat singing the uh, song. I've noticed that they don't seem to catch it, or I'm singing it too poorly for them to catch it. One of the two. In other case, uh, yay, there's generally no problems. So, uh, let's see, uh, this song is, uh, Where Are You Now? by Britney. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
that song. I've done a few lip syncs to that song actually, like actually on stage. Oh goodness, that was so fun. As well as a, uh, I've done it on stream a few times as well in the past, but uh, a lip sync to a uh, recut version of that song that uh, just has a significantly different ending. <laughs> oh, I love performing that one as well. Uh, if you uh, ask me, I'll uh, do a, a lip sync performance of it for you now, like the uh, modified version, just for funsies. You gotta ask them. <laughs> okay, so here we can see the full stripe pattern of our dragon. And we need a few more quarter-inch rings here. Quarter-inch ring, quarter-inch ring, we still need more quarter-inch rings. Oh, look, there's a pile of rings. These are all quarter-inch rings. Random fun fact. Every single dragon starts out with a quarter-inch ring, and ends with a 3 16 inch ring. Ooh. <laughs> The rings they're rattling around on here on this work surface. This work surface could use some work. It's cardboard on a box. I should cover it in some fancy cloth, but didn't have time today. Cloth and time, we're cloth and today, to the early, trust me on that one. I couldn't think of any more words. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's do a completely different genre of music here. Let's see if I can remember, remember this one. song one by Metallica that I was butchering there. It's been a long time since I've uh, just listened to that one at all, so sorry that one's a little bit kind of uh, scratchy there. Uh, what else do we got in the all skull here? Uh, let's see here. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. to like actual song songs uh, more often. I actually generally don't, it's uh, strictly off of memory. Generally I just like singing kind of as a hobby, not as a, uh, oh, I really should kind of take it up a little bit more seriously and become a busker. Like chain mailing and uh, singing, well maybe not chain mailing because you know this requires a lot of supplies and small stuff that can get lost in the grass and stuff. But uh, like say uh, string figures or something like that or just straight up singing. And uh, do busking uh, maybe in summer. Don't know about this summer specifically because I actually um, signed up for college right now. It begins on April 16th. I'm uh, going to become a healthcare aide. Yay! So I'm going to be learning how to save lives and uh, generally make people's lives better. Like uh, the main kind of focus that I'm uh, aiming towards for becoming a healthcare aide 
is uh, like the trauma ward type of uh, department where people have broken their legs or broken their arms or ribs or something like that. And they're just in, you know, agonizing pain and, you know, it's just, it's kind of short term that they'll only be there for a few months type of thing. But it's just, it's a really, really crappy period of their life. And I want to be the one that helps them through that. Kind of like, all right, come on, let's let's get you through this. Yeah, I know your arm is broken or whatever, and I know that sucks. And yeah, okay, you can't really write anymore. Or, you know, all of your, like, favorite hobbies. Yeah, video games are kind of out for now, too. So, you like, you know, help them through those really rough areas where it's like a crappy thing happened to you. You're in just kind of like a rough spot. I want to be the one to help you. So that's why I'm becoming a healthcare aide, and uh, yeah, specifically aiming for the uh, the trauma ward or the ward that has like you know broken bones and stuff. So we'll see how well that goes. Oh, and a lot of other aspects of it uh, like just appeal to me as well. The uh, home care portion of it, where it's like uh, you know more of an independent living assistant, where I'm helping people with uh, cooking their meals or uh, doing their laundry or. You know, mopping their floors or things like that because they're in some situation where they can't do it themselves so much anymore. So I'm looking forward to that because I generally just like doing chores. <laughs> That's just one of my passions. Oh, half the time when I'm doing my laundry or something. Oh goodness, I forgot that I have laundry in the washer. Okay, so I'm going to be staying up a little bit late after I pop that into the dryer and uh, dry it. Oh goodness, and I was going to do that before starting stream. So many things on my mind. I just, 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 just finished setting up the live stream more or less uh, before streaming today. Like uh, going to Streamlabs and setting up all of the images and the fonts and the text so that when people give me a phone, give me a phone, by the way. Um, uh, you know, it has a certain text and the image and everything there and you got to set all of that up and oh goodness, I forgot laundry. That'll give me something to do after stream. <laughs> Uh, it looks like it's uh, somewhere around 920 where I am here. I'll maybe go for another uh, 40 minutes or so and uh, yeah, kind of call the stream somewhere around that time. Until then, dragons! More dragons! We're almost finished the dragon back, by the way, right now. A uh, random kind of fact, it takes me somewhere around 5 or so uh, hours to come out or to make a dragon. And uh, each dragon comes with its own adoption papers, like they have their own name, birthday, and adoption papers that give their backstory. Uh, Midnight here is the uh, dragon of uh, the dark, surprise. And uh, she loves us, uh, like, hiding in closets or generally being in dark places. Definitely more of a night, uh, well, night dragon than uh, anything else. Uh, just, yeah, loves the dark. Oh, and uh, just due to being in the dark so long, and also thanks to her titanium eyes, she is able to see in the dark, unlike most other dragons. Let's see, what is your birthday? May 9th, 2017. Like I said, I had to do some minor modifications to her in the past little bit. Like I said, kind of a long story behind that. But uh, yes, uh, Midnight's uh, birthday is May 9th, 2017. One of my earlier dragons, actually. Oh, I'm almost uh, tempted to try and prattle off all of my different uh, dragon names. Ooh, random uh, fact about uh, the dragons as well. Uh, once we get to the point where we actually get to put in the dragon's eyes, that's right towards the very end of the dragon, uh, that uh, begins the dragon naming ceremony. When I begin putting in the eyes, then everyone in the chat can suggest a name for the dragon. And once the eyes have been uh, completely put in, the dragon is able to see the names that are uh, given or offered to her. And the dragon herself picks her own name from those offered. Oh. So yeah, we're not going to get the dragon naming ceremony uh, today, unfortunately, because we're well, still working on the back end, more specifically the belly right now. But, uh, yeah, I'm not 100% certain if I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'm not, I'll probably try. Oh, goodness. And uh, my streaming is going to be very, very sporadic. It used to actually be uh, fairly well scheduled in the past, but uh, with me beginning college next month, and then also working a part-time job, but like at the same time, that's really going to eat into all of my <laughs> available time. So we'll see how that goes. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I don't see uh, me being able to do a scheduled stream uh, at that time, but definitely in the future, once I become a healthcare aide like full-time, and uh, yeah, basically don't need to do a part-time job in the evenings, 
and I'm not doing college and studying and doing uh, homework and all that such. Pretty much this is going to be the summer of studying for me more than anything else. Okay, what's going on here? I think I put this reading in point incorrectly. It's kind of hard to even show on uh, this camera over here. Uh, like the rings because they're black and it doesn't really show up all that well. Honestly, I don't know how uh, clear it would be on silver either. Probably a little bit clearer there. In either case, do, 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 do. let's see where I went wrong. Maybe it is right and it's just kind of like rings are shuffled slightly. Something has definitely shifted off to the side here. All right, you out. Normally getting the belly uh, started is uh, really easy, but uh, this one decided to put up a fight for some reason here. I'm trying to show this a lot more on like the yeah, camera up there, but trying to work like this, you know, really doesn't work all that well. So unfortunately, uh, this camera, that's why it's kind of like a, the small corner one instead of the uh, main one. Like, I can uh, show you what it looks like in the other version just for funsies here. Like, if I were to uh, move the cameras around, then we're left with this, which uh, leaves me kind of, you know, in the corner, which is all fine and good for the most part. But then very little actually happens on uh, this screen here, like on this camera, because uh, all of the work is being done in my hands up in this top little corner over here now. And uh, then basically nothing ever moves here for the most part. So, like I said, I really want a better laptop at some point in the future so you have a better camera to work with for the uh, main screen. Whoop! That one. Ooh, I've got to do something with this little middle section right over here at some point or another. But on the other screen, whoop! Back and forth. I've got a little enjoy life down there. That looks all not bad. Whoop! I'm back here again. <laughs> okay, I'm done playing with the camera for now. <laughs> back to the dragon! Oh goodness, get back here, you! Back to the dragon, back to the dragon, back to this here dragon! Back to, back to, back to the dragon, 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 dragon! I like dragons, by the way. Back to the dragon, back to the dragon, 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 dragon! I've actually got uh, designs uh, for over a hundred more dragons uh, written down. Like, just uh, the colors for them, the, like, different designs, different names, different concepts for dragons. Uh, these, the next two that I'm going to be doing here were uh, specifically commissioned, so uh, these aren't on my, like, you know, inside of my dragon book specifically. But, uh, oh, goodness, purple, pink, striped, that is going to look phenomenal. I am shocked that wasn't inside of my uh, dragon book. At least I don't think so. I haven't specifically memorized all 100 of them or so, but still. Oh, no, see you. How are you doing today? So tell me, do you like dragons? I was just prattling on about dragons. Surprise. What's happening in your life there? What's new? Anything crazy and fancy happening? I was just prattling on earlier about starting college soon, so that's the kind of uh, interesting news on my end.
I've actually like tried to see how low I can go with the uh, sing there. Okay, that's about the bottom of my register there. Sound like a car speeding up. <laughs> But there's the top of my register. Honestly, I think I can go a little bit higher too, but I'm kind of fending off a bit of a cold right now too, which really isn't helping. So, uh, yeah, I think I can normally go just a little bit higher or, you know, be a little bit clearer and stuff. But uh, not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Okay, we're making some really good progress in the stream right now here. We've just about finished our belly of the dragon. Oh, pink and purple striped. That is just a heavenly combination. I have got to say. Oh. And the second dragon that was ordered, uh, like there was one, uh, both of them are black dragons that were ordered. And so we've got pink and purple striped. And the other one they wanted peacock colored. So like they just kind of left that up to my own interpretation. So that one's going to be a little bit kind of uh, yeah, interesting to kind of figure out exactly what I want to do with that. Um, I think I'm going to look up a peacock feather and basically just kind of take, you know, a middle band cross section of it and essentially uh, use the colors there. So it's going to be lots of greens and uh, purples and pinks and that type of, kind of various other colors, blues I guess inside of there. I'm trying to picture what a peacock tail actually looks like and been ages since I've actually 
like, you know, specifically look at a picture of one. But uh, I'll figure it out. That, that I'm not too concerned with. I have a lot of different colors of scales. One of those, uh, if you haven't seen it earlier, uh, basically all of the color of scales that I've used so far. Oh. So you've got bright, you've got bright pink, uh, regular pink, red, orange, I guess I'd call that bronze or brown, uh, yellow, lime, green, green, light blue or cyan, <laughs> blue, purple, uh, black, uh, rust, like, actually I did wild steel scale that I deliberately rusted, it looked pretty awesome. Uh, then we have uh, high carbon tempered, and then stainless steel and titanium, which are ever so slightly different from each other. I don't, you can see on the camera, but this one is stainless and this one is titanium. The titanium is just a little bit uh, more kind of dull colored than the stainless. Stainless is shinier than titanium, but that's just how it is. Although actually after rubbing the rings around for a while, it uh, tends to become just as shiny as stainless, so that's pretty awesome too. It just starts out a little bit duller. Pardon me one moment. Oh. That was taking a little bit out of the throat to do uh, throat singing, surprise. Not as much as actual singing, though, surprisingly, because, uh, like, not as much air passes over the vocal cords when you're throat singing, or at least when I'm throat singing, as when I'm belting out actual words, like, Where are you now? What have you found? Oh, well, I am butchering that Britney song. I am so sorry, Britney. <laughs> I do not have your voice. That's that much is apparent. <laughs> Okay, so we have the bo oh goodness, we need to attach these two shoulder scales here that have been sitting here for ages. Like uh, midnight here, you can see there's two shoulder scales kind of coming off right near the top there. So we need to get that uh, happening on this dragon as well, which we will do right. Oh, why did I take this off? Kind of my uh, work holder ring or control ring. Just lets me hold on to the entire piece a lot easier. I can show you. Try and show you here, but you know it's more vertically or horizontally oriented camera. Anywho, so attaching these uh, shoulder scales takes a little bit of an angling. I kind of have to undo some of the rings that I put on initially, and then kind of get these scales inside of there. I've tried to do it. Uh, have I even tried to do it the other way of just like attaching them in from the get go? I'm not even sure how I'd pull that off. It's pretty confusing to try and get them into here to begin with, never mind trying to get them in here before actually closing any of these rings whatsoever. But let's go get a dragon scale in. So you have a shoulder, do -ba -do -ba -do -do -ba -do -do -do. a pair of pink shoulders. Oh, I can see a pink dress in my future somewhere. As I've been shopping for clothing online and oh, I've found some amazing stuff. Mm. I do want another like uh, pink e-line dress like this, except uh, maybe a little bit lighter pink. Uh, dreams for the future. Dream, 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 and I love you. In my heart, I want to count the lyrics. Whenever I want you, all I have. Do is dream. See who sang that one? Something in the crickets. There's something, something in the crickets. Okay, so we got one shoulder scale in. Now you'll notice that uh, the shoulder scale starts a little bit loosey goosey. So what we do is uh, I can try and show you on midnight here. There's one extra scale kind of hiding in behind here that attaches these two uh, shoulder scales to each other. And that's actually one of the most difficult uh, rings to get into a dragon. So we'll be fighting with that shortly here. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, what time is it? 9.40. We may or may not have time to uh, finish the tale today. Like I said, I kind of want to uh, close down at 10 p.m. We'll see how far I get. I may try and finish a tale. Do -do 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 
So I'm going to adjust my seating position just a little bit here. Getting a pinch in my leg, and oh my goodness, it is hurting. Ah, oh, a little bit of. Oh. Ah. Okay, not not the best sitting position ever on earth, but uh, it was slightly better than it was before. Of course, I decided to start getting off. Hey, I'm going to go and be all pinching on you, and then it's going to hurt. It's going to suck. No, no, no. So now I'm trying to get this ring around these two shoulder scales and then into some rings hiding between or underneath the uh, kind of first scale here and then around the other shoulder scale. That kind of pulls everything all nice and tight together. Uh, provided this will you know, play nice here. ring to go underneath these other two rings, which is really difficult, so I'm going to try and swap to these other players, which have kind of a little hook at the end of them there, if you can see. That'll let me kind of grip this ring a little bit better, so that I have a little bit more control. Okay, I think I got that. Now we need you, actually to make this a little bit easier here, I'm going to close this ring and then open it kind of the opposite way. And that'll make it a little bit easier to slide into the other scale. Come on, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Come on. Come on. My singing tends to slow down when I'm fighting with a particularly difficult part. Which tends to happen around the head, unfortunately, because the heads of dragons are actually very complicated to make. Well, not complicated per se. It's a uh, alien male weave. But, uh... It requires a whole lot of just fighting around with it to try and flip one of the rings on the underside over to give it a chin. And uh, just other fun stuff like that. Getting the eyes inside of there. And I'm just going to pinch this ring just a little bit because I think it may have opened up slightly. Now I've got like just millimeters of space inside of here to try and fight with this ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with that, we should have shoulder scales properly installed now. Yay! So you can see now that they're uh, like not nearly as loosey goosey. They can only open up to that amount, and they, you know, stay underneath uh, this uh, first scale. So woo! We now have the shoulder scales installed, and you can see her beside uh, midnight. Mm. Oh goodness me, that you are a long one. But like I said, I tried to make this 16 instead of 18. Hmm. Give me two seconds, I'm going to bounce off screen for a moment here to uh, fetch a different dragon entirely. How about you? 
Okay, now you are also an 18 scale. Yeah, you're an 18 scale, uh, which will interwoven four in one belly. I'm going to go get a dragon that has a, uh, which will have Persian dragon scale belly. Give me two moments here, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again here. Yeah. Alright, round two. Okay, so uh, here's a William who was born December 15th. Now, uh, William, William, what were you the dragon of? Oh goodness, I can't recall straight off the top of my head. And the other dragon there isn't quite finished, like uh, these two on commission kind of uh, took precedence. William, what are you the dragon of? We'll have to look that up. But I just want to do a quick size comparison here. Okay, actually I think that uh, moving to elf weave, or not elf weave, interwoven form one, doesn't actually affect the length of the dragon at all. So you are getting an extra two uh, rings or scales onto you, uh, little dragon. Oh, that's going to bug me for a while now. William, 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 the orange hand. Anyway, just kind of bring you around for a while. Good night. Would you like a friend over here? Oh, you were shaped like the Vietnam flag. Uh, you were a uh, orange, then a red. There are three kind of red stripes in the center. This one was actually uh, for a friend of mine. I'm going to have to uh, tell him about it at one point or another. He had ordered uh, two of my dragons, actually. So yeah, I'm going to have to get back to him on that. Uh, William and Jim, I think, were the dragons that he ordered. I think it's Jim. That one is uh, patterned like a uh, Metroid, where it's... Uh, and it has green bands on the end, and then three red dots in the center again to uh, kind of, you know, indicate the three red dots in the center of a Metroid. And yeah, awesome color. <laughs> I think that one might have been a silver dragon there. Okay, so I need to remove some of the uh, rings here that are currently here. Because we need to add another two pink scales. Goodness, you are going for my pink scales like mad. Okay, so it turns out the default length of a uh, dragon is going to stay the same. They're still 18 scales long. Well, I'm kind of thinking now. Give me two seconds. If I were to attach you as a bracelet, just as a for instance here, you can see how we attach a dragon bracelet now. There's a mouth ring on each of the dragons, and uh, what you do is you take the tail. This is on camera. Let me have to move the camera so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so you. Gosh, this is impossible to see on the mini camera just because of gravity. So you take the mouth ring and you uh, let the tail kind of slide through it. And my hand is in the way. This is so difficult. Yes, there we go, maybe that. So yeah, mouth ring, tail goes through it. So the tail goes through the mouth ring. And then you can pull the tail back and attach it to the clasp. Okay, now for my wrist, and I have uh, somewhat uh, thin wrists, you have to pull like more or less the entire tail through. Let me uh, swap them down to uh, 16 uh, scales one way or the other. Mr. Voidy, hello. Wonderful to see you here. Hello, welcome to the stream. Say hello to several dragons. This is William. This one's Midnight. This one doesn't have a name yet. Here's Charlotte. And just because, here's a not quite finished dragon, but a rainbow one. You know, just the uh, colors of the uh, pride flag type of thing. But that one unfortunately has to be uh, put off until I'm done two dragons being made on commission right now. Okay, so actually I think I am going to swap it down to 16 scales long. Because, say, on a thinner wrist, like, say, a uh, smaller uh, child's or something, they wouldn't really be able to wear the bracelet without it being unbelievably loose. 
And uh, if you have like a larger wrist, you just put less of the tail through and then attach it to the clasp underneath the scale. And let's just kind of do the maximum length here, so to speak. Uh, it's a bit of a feeling to get the bracelet on just due to the nature of it. So that's about the maximum length of bracelet you can see here, which uh, gives a fair amount of kind of uh, space inside of there. Why have you not been here? Uh, that's a very good question. I have been streaming under this username for too long. Like, I was using a previous username, uh, Kabuthunk, but uh, long story short, I'm not using that one anymore, so I'm under Dragon Mother K right now. But, uh, welcome aboard! Feel free to give me a follow, you follow if you like. Um, uh, I, not, I don't stream, like, regularly. Uh, this is a dragon bracelet. I make uh, pet dragons. Uh, they each come with their own adoption papers and a backstory. Uh, midnight here is the dragon of the dark. She loves, uh, you know, the overnight shift type of things, hiding in dark closets. Generally just avoiding the light uh, night owl or a night dragon type of thing. Uh, Charlotte here is the dragon of color. She has all of the uh, different colors of scales that I've used so far. Uh, William here. I actually have to double check. Dragon Mother K, yes. Because I'm, I make dragons. <laughs> Uh, so this is William. I'm not 100% certain what you are the dragon of. Not gymnastics, that's Jim. Like I said, I'll have to look that up. Let me know if you're actually curious about William here, because you know what, now it's getting to me. Give me two seconds, I'm going to go bounce over to find out what William is the dragon of. William, William, what are you the dragon of? William, William, what are you the dragon of? William, oh William, you're a dragon too. You've got orange and red stripes. That's like you do, do. Oh, wow, that work surface looks cluttered now. <laughs> I've got all of my dragons kind of saved on my website. Uh, I make the webcomic Planet Zebeth if you're curious. There you are, William. The dragon of music. Or is it singing or music? Rank of singing. Ah, oh, here I am, like doing my throat singing and such, and I completely forget that you're the dragon of singing. <laughs> oh, actually, if you like, Mr. Void, I can read you the entire backstory of uh, William. Control <laughs> Shift T to open that tab again. Okay, where are you here? William is the dragon of singing. He loves bursting into song while singing to the radio, and will sing along to everything from... I really don't have a good way of looking at this. I sing along to everything from... I apologize. I just kind of like broke the rhythm there. Country to rap, though he has a particular fondness for uh, Sophie Ellis Baxter. A great fan of karaoke bars. Most of the owners, most of the owners there know him by name, and add him to the uh, queue when they see him uh, come through the door. Music lover, music singer, this dragon loves to move to the beat. Feel free to rename him if you like, as long as you enjoy the music of sound in your ears, or as long as you enjoy the sound of music in your ears. Dragon mother Katie Lynn. Yes, this scroll is waterproof. I write my uh, adoption scrolls on waterproof paper because why not? So yeah, that's the uh, story behind uh, William. I apologize for it being kind of uh, broken up talking there, but you know, I had to zoom in on the image and then it's like, okay, I can see three words and I have to scroll back and forth. Frustrating. <laughs> Uh, generally speaking, I need something uh, to talk about, otherwise I'll just kind of uh, go back to my singing. Uh, what's happening with you these days, Mr. Boydy? Anything uh, new and crazy and fancy? Like, uh, I suppose on my end, I just, just, alright. Like I said, I was going to uh, stick with a 16 scale dragon because 
Well, it lets me kind of divide up the stripes a whole lot uh, better. I can do like four, four, four type of stripes as well. And, uh, oh, right, yeah, saying uh, I've uh, just uh, signed up for college recently, so I'm going to become a healthcare aide soon. Uh, classes begin on April 16th, uh, so less than a month away. And uh, kind of excited about them. I'm kind of trying to just, you know, not let my excitement build too much, just kind of more or less resting and relaxing until college classes actually begin. A lot of the uh, beforehand is actually like chasing around after like paperwork and such. Like for healthcare aid, I need to go and get like doctor papers because I need my immunization stuff because, you know, I'm going into healthcare. And then I need to get a uh, TB skin test done and I need to give all of these papers to the college and then I need to get some papers over to Manitoba Employment because they're uh, paying for uh, part of the uh, college or most of the college, which is wonderful because college is crazy expensive. So the fact that uh, like Manitoba Employment is willing to pay for a portion of it is just, oh, thank you so much because that is a lot of debt to try and take on. But uh, it's going to be wonderful. Oh, thank you, Mr. Boyd. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm specifically looking forward to uh, being inside of like the trauma ward type of area where people have broken arms and legs and I get to be the one to kind of, you know, help them through that particularly frustrating, painful, annoying part of life. Where it's like, all right, you've had an accident for whatever reason and like you're in pain, you can't use your arm and it's just, it's just generally not a pleasant time of life. And I want to be the one that's like, all right, let's, let's get you through this here. What do you need done? Okay, you need like this cooked for you? Done. You need like that laundry done because you can't because of your situation? Done. Like, I want to be that person. And I'm going to be that person. So that's all kinds of awesome. <laughs> so that's a journey that's going to be starting next month. Uh, the classes run until November, so uh, more or less all of uh, 2018 is going to be dedicated to college. And I'm also working a part-time job at a convenience store. I'm not sure uh, where you live, uh, Mr. Boydie, but if you have a 7-Eleven there, uh, I work at a 7-Eleven uh, convenience store. It's actually pretty enjoyable. I'm uh, mildly worried about uh, kind of taking on classes and uh, like working part-time at the same time. I'm kind of worried that, oh, thank you, Mr. Boydie. You're wonderful. I love you. Good old life be with you. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll uh, at least be able to survive it. I'll probably be a little bit low on uh, sleep for the most part. But, you know, take it day by day, see how she goes. Okay, so where was I here? Oh goodness, we have a lot of dragons kind of piled up here right now. Okay, we need some room, so... William, why don't you stick around with the other two of you? Go and chill over here for now. Alien, you get to be the new dragon of the day. <laughs> dragon of the stream. Dragon of singing, dragon of singing. <laughs> dragon of singing, dragon of singing. That's what William is. He likes to sing in karaoke bars. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He also likes to sing to the radio. Who does it? No one does it. Oh, that, that, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've actually gone to a throat sing at a few karaoke bars. Like normally they, you know, put on a song and then you sing to it and so forth. But uh, one of them, uh, called Sonics here, has actually allowed me to just go up and kind of like offer me the microphone to just do my singing, which has been kind of awesome because, you know, what other venues am I going to be able to throat sing at? <laughs> I'm sure there's got to be like open mic nights in some places or another. I'd have to look it up or... You know, I've never really looked into that all that too terrible much. I do like to generally uh, do my throat singing on buses and such because then you have a nice captive audience and, you know, if you can kind of catch the, like, people listening to you, then it's like, ooh, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Bloody, have you ever played the game Metroid? Like uh, the Nintendo series uh, Metroid? There's uh, one song in particular from there that I really like to sing. Kind of wondering if you recognize it or not. 
Although I also know the uh, Tetris theme. I'm sure you'd probably recognize that. Oh, that's all right. I'll spare you that. Okay, so we've opened up a lot of rings and we have our partially finished. Oh, why would they want that, Mr. Wood? You've been wonderful so far. Oh, who on them? You're a wonderful person. You need to stay alive. Oh, right. As I was about to grab here, we need to work on the tail, and the tail of my dragons are made with the weave called Elf Weave. So I've got a little tiny sample over here, which lets me easily just, you know, start up the weave without actually trying to figure it out from scratch, because, you know, figuring out weaves from absolute scratch is actually very difficult. Kind of a fun thing I can show you here, actually. Just to make it easier to begin any of the weaves that I've like basically taught myself. Ah, here's a big giant pile of over 50 different uh, individual chainmail weaves. All of them are different and uh, this way I can just kind of uh, add on to each strand and uh, that'll let me kind of continue uh, any of these weaves. And that way if people want a bracelet I can be like, all right here you go, pick out whatever weave you want and we'll get you a bracelet of that style. Here's European 4 and 1 vertical. Here's kept or just inverted round mail. Here's uh, what do you call it? Uh, I could go on with 50 of them here. Oh, you like me? Oh, that's nice, Mr. Boyd. Not sure if the uh, screen gave a notification sound or anything. Sometimes it doesn't for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. Slight bug with Twitch or something. <laughs> I'm going to kind of bounce around to the music a little bit more. I'm just kind of hunched over here to be like close to the chain now that I'm all slumped on the side. It doesn't look nearly as good. 
Gonna sit up a little bit straighter. <laughs> oh, that's me, Mr. Boydie. Don't go killing people. That's just a boo. That's a meanie thing. I'm very pacifist myself and kind of, you know, pro not killing people. <laughs> Anti war, I guess. Something like that. I'm a very peaceful person. screen kind of uh, cut out there. Uh, I can't remember what I was talking about. Uh, telling people is bad. <laughs> mm, kind of self-explanatory, really. <laughs> now, unless you're talking like online gaming, say Grand Theft Auto or something like that, I've played that online a few times and, oh, that can be kind of fun. <laughs> It's been a while since I've done any online gaming, really. Oh goodness, it's almost starting to get a little bit late here. I think what I'm going to do is uh, finish off the tale if I can. And then we're going to move on to, uh, well, actually I'll probably end the stream. Not most people aren't, Mr. Boydie. Generally I found that most people are really kind and nice. You know, there's the few bad apples that just kind of uh, give people a bad name, and I think for some reason just because they stand out, that's uh, the ones that people kind of like, you know, remember sometimes. But really, just kind of on the whole, like traveling around on the bus, walking to and fro for, uh, to work and such, going through the malls, Generally speaking, like 99.9% .9 of people are all, you know, happy and fine and stuff. sure what you would call this here. Scat singing? I think that's what it's called, where you just kind of add random words in. Something like that. I think Scatman John kind of coined the term, if I recall. Could be making stuff up too, who knows. Couple of weeks for what, Mr. Voidy? Kind of lost me there. It's a couple of weeks until I start college, so that's a thing. 
there, but it will probably be like three weeks from now. Oof, that is kind of creeping up pretty quick, isn't it? Oh, one kind of annoying thing about uh, blackened uh, rings here, uh, the way that they uh, blacken them, I believe, I think if they're still doing, yeah, doing them the uh, same way. Oh, I wrote Mr. Pliny. I was going to talk to you about chainmail. All right, well, thanks for stopping by. You've been a wonderful and uh, have a wonderful evening. You're out for a fortnight? Alright, well, feel free to stop back in when you get back. It's been nice chatting with you, thank you. Fortnite. There's something that people really need to use more often. There, that's a wonderful term. I love that one. Oh, thank you, Mr. Boy. Have a wonderful evening. Yes, I need more rings. But you can see our tail is coming along pretty nicely here. Uh, not all that ridiculously long just yet. We kind of uh, slide up uh, William here beside. Uh, we probably have another three or so segments to go before I move it down to three sixteenths inch rings. Oh goodness, I'm running out of uh, quarter inch rings here too. Quarter inch rings, quarter inch rings. I'm starting to run low on quarter inch rings. Don't worry, I've got more rings than another bag or two of quarter inch rings. <laughs> I need to make a song called Quarter Inch Rings. Quarter inch rings, quarter inch rings. Always use those quarter inch rings. Most of the dragon is quarter inch rings. Oh, you shouldn't, Mr. Boy. You're wonderful. You need to love yourself. That's kind of a glass half empty type of thought. Boo. Oh, I love you. You're wonderful and you should love yourself. I'm not sure what type of singing I want to do right now. All right, as I was uh, about to prattle on there, um, uh, the black and steel uh, rings. So uh, the way that they make them, or at least uh, the way that they, uh, I've heard that they make them, is they basically take the rings and they uh, bake them in oil, like in an oven in oil. I'm not sure if submerged, but I kind of assume so. And uh, that gets it to stick really, 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 really solidly onto the rings. Like, I've never had any, like, scratching on them unless, like, you know, the pliers slip off of them or something like that. And, uh, what was I going with that? Oh, right, 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 right. So I think in that uh, baking process, uh, the ends of the rings kind of get slightly warped. So the rings aren't quite as circular as just like the silver rings. So every so often uh, when I see a ring that kind of has just a little bit of a uh, jaggy on it where the ring closes and it just, you know, it doesn't feel as nice or doesn't close as nice. Like this one, you can't even probably even see it on the camera there. But right at the closure... You can hear that little kind of clicking sound. 
that is because their edges aren't lined up properly. So now if we slide it across, yeah, that little kind of bit of sound there is because it's a pinch cut. Eternity. That is quite a long time, Mr. Boydie. Although personally, I'm shooting for immortality, such as, you know, if science comes up with a way to either uh, put our uh, brains into a hard drive, or otherwise, uh, like, you know, stop our uh, telomeres from shrinking, or otherwise uh, come up with a way to uh, swap out all of our like uh, cells with the inorganic versions that no longer break down. You know, whatever way science comes up with to uh, make a body immortal, I want to sign up for that. So eternity, that sounds pretty awesome to me. Snake eats its tail. That's an Ouroboros, isn't it? I'm not sure what the symbolism is behind that, but there's a whole lot of them. I think there's Ouroboros is uh, kind of uh, looped around other Ouroboros is, and I've only kind of slightly glanced at uh, the that be a mythology? The kind of uh, idea behind that. Oh goodness, what am I doing here? I think I made a mistake. Too much paying attention, not enough chain mailing. Well, oh, thank you, Mr. Boydie. You know, these uh, dragons are almost sort of like Ouroboroses, except they don't eat their tails. Uh, the tails just kind of loop through the mouth ring, and uh, so it sort of looks like they might be a uh, snake eating its tail, except they have arms. Oh, thank you, Mr. Boydie. Hello! Hello! Welcome to the channel. Hey there, Mr. Boydy. Um, Mo, what you're watching is, uh, chain mailing. Uh, we're making chain mail dragons right now. Like, uh, this here is a William, the dragon I'm singing. And, uh, off screen we have, uh, let's see, Midnight, the dragon of the dark, and Charlotte, the dragon of color. So we're just gonna slide those two off again, because there's really only room for wonder. Oh, goodness. And Charlotte goes and falls. Um, uh, what we're working on right now is a uh, pink and purple striped dragon that someone had ordered. And, oh goodness, that pattern just looks phenomenal. So right now we're working on the tail of the dragon. And uh, that's an elf weave uh, style weave. So we've got a fair length here. I think I just need another few rings. And then we'll be able to move down to three 16 inch rings to kind of uh, taper off to the end of the tail. And I guess also, uh, kind of in between the uh, chain mailing and stuff, or and chatting, uh, I'm also doing throat singing as well. And uh, that's just something that I like to do. Um, oh, at the moment, uh, I don't really have a uh, web page for them anymore. Uh, you can send me a whisper if you like, or visit my, oh goodness, I need to fill out my uh, profile on uh, Twitch a little bit. Uh, you can find me on Facebook under the name Kitty Lynn, K I T T Y space L Y N N E. And uh, yeah, if you point me on there, you can. A pizza, oh, I'd love a pizza. <laughs> uh, then you can send me a message there as well. Otherwise, if you give me a whisper, I can give you my, uh, you know, better contact information. Or you can just work through Twitch entirely if you like. I do have about 15 dragons currently made and uh, ready to, like, be adopted. Uh, all of my dragons come with adoption papers and have their own names and backstories. Like I said, William here is the dragon of singing. And uh, yeah, we can definitely uh, set you up with uh, getting a dragon if you like. Just uh, send me a message. And uh, after stream, I'll uh, get back to you and such. I was going to end the stream today uh, after finishing this tail here and connecting the tail to the body, giving what I like to call a lesser dragon snake. Right now what we have here just the uh, body of the dragon. I like to call this a dragon caterpillar. And then once we attach the tail, then it's a lesser dragon snake. Then once we get the head on, then it's a greater dragon snake. And once we get the arms on, then it's a full dragon. And once the dragon has its clasp, then the dragon has the ability to fly. Because, you know, they can attach to your wrist and stuff down. <laughs> dragon lore. Anywho's.
we are about to see if this is the proper length of tail for a dragon tail. Now, all of my dragons tend to be a little bit unique because, uh, well, for one, the alien male heads tend to be a little bit uh, different between one dragon to the next because a million different reasons. And the tails can possibly be different lengths because I don't really count the rings. I just uh, do look like about the same length as this tail. And we kind of go by that method. Okay, so starting right about there. Goes to right about there. That looks to be the exact place where we want to taper that down to 3 16 inch rings. 3 16 3 16 We need to grab some 3 16 We're done with those quarter inch rings and what we need now is 3 16 <laughs> So although one kind of like a little bit of an extra touch that I've been uh, doing with my dragons, I think I'll try and uh, start that trend with this dragon as well. Is uh, uh, since with the black and steel rings, uh, there's no option for like uh, in between sizes. Like uh, there's only quarter inch and three sixteenths. Literally, those are the sizes that you can get in eighteen gauge rings. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some quarter inch rings and snip off just the slightest little bit to basically give me a 7 32 inch rings. And that will make a very nice kind of a, a little bit more of a proper taper between the 3 16 and the quarter inch. A little bit kind of a less harsh of a transition between the two. Both Midnight, okay, well, uh, Charlotte uh, uses silver rings and thankfully they actually do have 532 inch and 732 and you know the oddball sizes which is really nice because with chainmail a lot of the uh, types of weaves are really really AR specific and that stands for aspect ratio which is the size of the like uh, the thickness of the ring like 18 gauge versus uh, how big they are I can't 100% remember what aspect ratio means but something along those lines uh, they're for anyone, though. Like, uh, they're dragons. They're meant to be, uh, you know, pets that travel around with you. I have both male and female dragons. Uh, a lot of them are more manly looking, like, uh, I'd, I'd say, you know, unless you're a goth girl of some sort. Uh, Midnight here is pretty manly looking, just like a full-on black dragon. Oh, he looks classy. But, uh, yeah, dragons are for anyone, really. I've, uh, had to, you know, anyone buy them. <laughs> Okay, you are all the 16th inch rings. We'll just kind of slide these extra ones over up. Here you, over in that general direction. And I need three quarter inch rings. Quarter inch rings, quarter inch rings. I really like saying the word quarter inch rings. What we're gonna do is cut these rings and turn them into 732 inch rings. <laughs> oh, that didn't work out all that well. Okay, so we now just need to cut just the tiniest little bit off of them. Just like, say, <clears throat> about one, one and a half uh, millimeters. Um, uh, each dragon is $40. And, uh, yeah, that includes their adoption papers. Uh. And so, yeah, $40 a dragon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Like I said, if you uh, give me a whisper, I can uh, get you uh, hooked up with a dragon, show you the ones that I currently have available, and uh, see if you like one of those, or if you want to have a specific custom color. If you want a custom color, it'll take a little bit longer. Like, I'm uh, starting college sometime soon, so I'm not even 100% certain. I have to finish this dragon, and one other dragon that I have uh, on commission right now. And then there's possibly one other person that's ordered a dragon after that, but uh, I haven't heard back from them in a while, so I'm going to have to send them a message at some point. But uh, yeah, we can definitely set you up with a dragon. And yeah, is there any particular colors that you had in mind, Mo? Like, uh, we're making a uh, purple and pink striped dragon right now. Uh, what did you have in mind? I can let you know if I have that uh, currently available. And also, we have them in both black and silver rings. Come on. 
You know, since I clipped a little bit out of these rings, I kind of need to reshape them a little bit. Because, you know, there's a gap in them. <laughs> so we just kind of close the gap. Twist the ring, bend it into shape again so that it's all nice and arranged. Yeah, you can see the size that it used to be, the size that it is, and then a 3 16 inch grain. So we kind of got a nice kind of taper between all of them there. One more ring to go, one more ring to go. We'll turn you into some 32 inch ring, one ring to go. I think this is close to 732 inch. It's right in between quarter and three sixteenths anyway. I think I might uh, grab a uh, silver, like actually uh, store cut uh, 72 inch ring just to compare. Let's go grab one and have a quick look, CCC. Uh, CC. You CC me? Okay. And there's a uh, 732 inch ring. So that's actually a really, really close match. So I'm happy with that. Wonderful, wonderful. Actually, I'd be making the entire uh, head out of a three, or 732 inch rings because with the alien male that just works really, really well. Actually, let me try that on this dragon. Just spend like, you know, however long it takes, uh, 15 minutes. This actually shouldn't be all that too terribly long, about 15 minutes. Just clipping little pieces out of the rings and kind of reforming them into random ones. Because uh, with this dragon, I used quarter inch rings, but we had to add uh, extra teeth rings on the side to uh, basically keep the alien male V, just kind of one of the uh, problems with not being able to get 732 inch rings in black. Kind of a minor nuisance there, but I think by clipping out a little tiny piece of uh, the quarter inch rings, that'll kind of take care of that problem nicely. So I think we're going to try that with these dragons, like the two that I'm going to be making right now, or next here. This one and the next one. Neither of these have names yet. Now the dragons typically only get their names once I put their eyes in. And that's uh, the dragon naming ceremony. Where anyone that's watching the stream is able to uh, type in a name suggestion. And then once the dragon finally gets her eyes, uh, then uh, they're able to pick which name they want. And yay, dragon naming ceremony. <laughs> but that's not for right now because we're not working on the head. We're not working on a dragon head, we're working on a dragon tail. Dragon tail. Did you ever watch the movie or the show Tailspin? Oh, that was a fun show. With uh, Baloo, I think it was. And Sidekick of some sort, I can't remember his name. Yeah, uh, that was fun. Disney had a lot of really fun old shows. Not even sure what cartoons are playing nowadays. I haven't watched TV in like a decade. Watch anime every now and then. Berserk is an amazing anime. Oh, love that one. See if you want there's Attack on Titan. Oh, there's a good one. I really liked Ron the One Half. That's a bit of an older one. These black and steel rings and their slight warpage due to their coloration. I'm not sure why they don't allow or not offer them in more sizes though. I should ask if they'll make like a custom thing. Like if I order enough of them, I'd have to save up for a bit because I'm dirt poor. <laughs> but uh, if I can save up to like buy say, you know, a thousand or like ten thousand rings, then. Uh, Basically, you see if I can, or how many do I need to order to get you to make blackened 732 inch rings? Because that would be a whole lot of awesome. 
I've got to ask the Green Court that. That is a wonderful question to ask them. The Green Court actually made this heart around my uh, neck over here. It's uh, two thin sheets of titanium riveted together. And, oh, they did a phenomenal job on it. And, yeah. The uh, leather straps for this collar I had made by a place here called KK Custom Leather. And they do amazing work. Like with dyeing the leather pink and everything. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now that we've installed the 732 inch rings, you get to work down to 316 inch rings. And then the very last uh, ring of this elf weave, that's 3 sixteenths, we double that up because that tapers really nicely too. We do a uh, double, like just a simple chain at the end of the tail, if you can see on William here. We double a ring over here, then move it to single rings, and then two tail scales, which are uh, tiny scales. Oh, you have not picked out the color of your tiny scales here, of which I honestly think that they should both be... Pink. Ooh, we don't have 20 pink scales. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to have to uh, come up with what uh, color sca or tail scales we want for this dragon. We may have purple, although it kind of has, has it end in four purple, which is kind of not exactly what I wanted, but we'll do it if we must type a thing. Or if I can't find a better alternative. And there goes the ring kind of flicking off to the side. Whoa. Oh, where'd you go? It's been a bit since you chatted. Where'd you wander off? Well, again, like I said, let me know if you want a, uh, a dragon and I can hook you up there. <laughs> Basically, any color combination you can think of. Although for white scales, they tend to use silver. The white scales that are available are only one-sided white, like the underside is still silver. So it's like, uh, I'd really prefer to both sides were white. Yeah. Silver looks pretty amazing too, though, I've got to say. One of my very, very first dragons was pure silver. That was Sabrina, the dragon of sewing. And yeah. Oh, she looks amazing. I can't recall if I still have her or if she's been adopted by someone. She may be one of the adopted ones. Songstaff! Hello again! Nice to see you. Uh, yep, I'm still online here. Oh, goodness. Move the mouse around. I'm going to be online for just a few minutes here. Uh, you're just in time to see us uh, finish off the tail of the dragon. And once we get the tail finished, then we're going to attach it to our uh, pink and purple dragon to make a uh, lesser dragon snake. And once the dragon gets its head, then it becomes a greater dragon snake. But uh, yeah, you're just in time for the uh, tail attachment and tail finishing. And coming up with what uh, sca or colored scales to use for the tip of the tail. But normally I'd love to use pink for the tip of the tail. Tip of the tail. Hmm, I love that. But that is not an option, unfortunately, because uh, tiny scales don't come in pink. So, boo. I may just go with silver, but... Black. Don't really like that either. Okay, so let's just grab a handful of tiny scales here. Just gonna splay them out and see what we've got. Okay, and let's just lay our dragon beside this and see what our see what looks nice. Oh goodness, and this scale has the hole punched like way off to the side. Unfortunately, that one will have to go. Uh, let's 
Let's see, do you want to do black? Black look it at the end of this. Maybe doing a purple tail. Maybe doing a purple tail. Yep, I think just what about red? No, that kind of clashes. Blue? No. no. I think we're pretty much stuck doing purple. And wow, I have very few green scales. Or tiny scales. Okay, yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to make us a purple tail. Nope. Doesn't that look amazing? Come here, tiny scales. Come here, tiny scales. I don't know where the song is going. <laughs> All right. Tiny, tiny scales. These are really tiny scales. I don't want to show Oh, just thinking for a moment. You know, you can have like a uh, shirt made out of full scale. You don't have to have ridiculously tiny rings, but coming up with a full shirt of this size of scale. Oh, that sounds like something uh, like what Dr. T would do. And Dr. T is a chain mailer on Facebook and, you know, chain mail forums and such. He does amazing work, usually with split rings, and a lot of them are tiny, tiny rings with intricate patterns, just, oh, phenomenal, phenomenal work by him. I admire him so much. I don't really make shirts or unusual things, I've really taken to doing dragons. I do have an eventual goal still, of uh, one day, well, not one day, well, okay, it'll happen one day. <laughs> But over the course of my life, I want to make a true throng of dragons. One thousand dragons. And this is going to be somewhere around number 45. Which, uh, you know, that's not too bad, not too bad. Once I get to 100, that's a tenth of the way there. So really, I'm close to 1 twentieth of the way there. Okay, and we can take our little sample set of elf weave out of the way there. And take these quarter inch rings and move them there. And you, you are about to get your tail. Woo! Okay, so now I have to make sure that I'm holding this properly here. Make sure the ring is slanting in the right way. Open up this end ring. Slide your openness. And then it went and came off of one of these. Oh no! Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Okay, no, we're good. We're good! Oh. You know, elf weave is a little bit different from other weaves in that uh, if you, like, work it in one direction, then, you know, the weave is made in that one direction. But if you try to go in the opposite direction, it looks entirely different, or at least significantly different. And it really throws me off that way. Okay, there we go. And now you go connect to you as we splice in a tail. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing here. So you can see we've got it mostly hooked in. This ring it now needs to this ring over here. Now needs to attach to that ring over there, if that's even slightly visible. <laughs> uh, working with tiny rings, it's hard to show detail. Slide you through here. And then close you. And woo! You've got a dragon tail attached. Awesome! And now what we have is what I like to call the lesser dragon snake. From a dragon kill a caterpillar to a lesser dragon snake. And then once her head is, well, his or her, head is attached, then it's a greater dragon snake. And then it becomes a dragon when it gets its arms. So yay! This is about as far as we're going to go for today. It's, uh, ooh, 1040. We, uh, did a fair amount of streaming today. But we did a fair amount of dragon making today, so that's awesome on uh, with my face. We did a fair amount of dragon making today, which is all kinds of awesome. 
And uh, I'm going to uh, call it a day right about there. So thank you so much for showing up. Koro, life be with you all. And uh, I will see you another day. Mm-hmm. <laughs>